In this video, I'm going to show you five basic burlesque moves. My name is Goldminka. I'm a burlesque performer and a belly dance teacher. And if you are new here on my channel, welcome. Yes, here on my channel, you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos. And the goal of my channel is making you feel beautiful by discovering your inner sensual Venus. So if you are interested in this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can do it here and also press this little bell here so you will always get a notification every time I publish a video. And if you are watching my videos regularly, welcome to this new video where I show you five basic burlesque moves. So let's get right into the video with movement number one. Movement number one is the bumps. So the bumps are the really uh, strong movement. You can really use them for strong parts in your music. For example, the drums. And for getting into this bump move, you're bringing your feet a little bit further apart. And then you just throw everything you have to one side. So we will do a double bump now. So right, 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 no, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. And what also helps is when you squeeze your glutes. So when you throw everything you have to the right side, then squeeze your glutes. So squeeze, 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 hmm, dum, dum. Then it even looks a little bit stronger. And the bumps you can like, you can do in double, so double like this. You can also do only one bump to the side, one, dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. It also works four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And dum, 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 dum. And it also looks good from behind. So when you turn around and you're bumping like this. So we will go through all our bumps. We do one, dum, dum, dum. Dum, 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 and now double. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Movement number two is the grind move. The grind move is a very soft and sensual move, so it's the opposite movement of the bump. So now the grind is very feminine, very soft and sensual. And this you can really use for smooth and soft parts in your music. For doing the grind movement, you bring your feet hip broad apart. And well, what you do then is drawing the figure eight onto the floor. So you can imagine you have two pencils here and with these two pencils, you draw the figure eight on the floor. So this is the beginning and the basic of the grind. So you can just imagine the figure eight. And what helps even more to get this movement more soft and more fluid is to imagine you have got water in your hips. So you bring the water from one side to the other side. So really smooth this movement out and get really, really soft. And you can also play with this grind. You can, for example, do huge grinds to one side. When you do them bigger, like me now, they are getting a little bit slower. So the bigger they are, the slower they get. Or you can also bring your feet a little bit together and do very, very slow grind. Not, not slow, but small grinds. So 
Now they are very, very small. And to make it look even more sensual, you can really touch yourself. And yes, so this gives your audience even more the feeling of a very soft and sensual move. You can really play around with this and yes, try to find out which grind yes, looks best for you and feels good. So really try to feel this movement from the inside. So this is one of the best moves. Really try to get into your body and feel the softness of this sensual grind. It's one of my personal favorite moves in Murvisk. The third movement in burlesque is also a very sensual and soft movement. And this is, I will step a little bit back so you can see me better, it's this body wave. So yes, this is also such a brilliant, perfect, soft, sensual move. For doing this movement, I will show it from the side so it's easier for you to see. So you bring your chest forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, front, up, back, down. So you start to circle your chest. This is the beginning of the move, the circle in your chest. And once you've got this circle, you can imagine a water wave is flowing through your whole body, really from your chest down into the floor. So our chest front, up, back, down, and then the water wave and chest again, front, up, back, down. Don't stress yourself too much with this water wave. This comes automatically if you just get into the flow of the movement and if you just let yourself go into this move. If you want to learn this camel move in particular, I have made another video here where I explain step by step this camel move. It's a very beautiful, soft and sensual move. The two images that you can take with you when practicing this is the circle in your chest and the water wave that flows down from your upper body, from your chest into the floor. The imagination of water always helps in every, in nearly every move to get it very soft, very sensual, very feminine, very beautiful. And if you like my videos so far, I would be happy if you give me a thumb up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Movement number four already is the shoulder shimmy or the chest shimmy. <laughs> For starting with this move, you again get a comfortable posture. And then what you do then is twisting your upper body from side to side. This means you're twisting your right shoulder to the front, your left shoulder automatically goes back. So like this, and then it shows to the diagonal of this room. Then the other way around, left shoulder front, right shoulder automatically goes back. Then your chest shows to the other diagonal of the room. And this is what you do. You're twisting your upper body while twisting. Stay in the middle of this move. Don't twist like this. Imagine a line through your body and you're twisting around this line. Your chest is always open, so don't fall forward while twisting. Stay straight, rib cage open, and then just twist around from side to side. And your hip is pointing to the front. And when you Lift your hands like this and you put them onto 
some nice clouds. You still twist your upper body a little bit faster and again a little bit faster and then very fast. And then you get this beautiful shoulder shimmy or chest shimmy. <laughs> so this is also, yes, it's a really, really funny movement. It's, it's a beautiful movement while twisting. Keep smiling and keep the movement nice. Don't do a fist or fists like this and don't pull your, your arms like this. So this does not help you at all when you pull your arms like this. With this you will get a no beautiful shoulder shimmy. You will get the shoulder shimmy when twisting and rotating your rib cage. So one shoulder front and the other one automatically goes back. <laughs> and last but not least movement is the shimmy. And for getting into the shimmy, one second, I have to change my camera, otherwise you cannot see me. <laughs> so, for getting into the shimmy, you get a comfortable position again, so your feet are hip rod apart. And what you do then is just bending your knees front and back. This is a slow motion shimmy. A shimmy, in fact, is nothing else than a seesaw with your hip. I will show you again. This is a very fast shimmy. And when we slow this down, you will see that the movement is a seesaw in your hip. So your hip bones are moving alternately up and down and for, and for making them move like this you just bend your knees front and back so this is the slow motion shimmy you just bend your knees front and back i will show it to the side make sure to have a nice posture continue to breathe and just bend your knees front and back this is the whole secret of the movement if you want to learn it more in detail, you can watch my shimmy video I have made here. So now we have the slow motion shimmy, so the slow seesaw, because we are bending our knees very slowly. And now we speed it up. So this means we bend our knees a little bit faster. This means our shimmy is already a little bit faster. And then we do it very, very fast. And then we have this beautiful, Shimmy! <laughs> and it's really important to do the shimmy slow, slow. And it's really important to practice the shimmy very, very slow. Only when you are doing it slowly and you're able to doing it slowly. And yes, no, I cannot shimmy and talk at the same time, but I think you know what I mean. So it's important to practice it very, very slow and then it will look good when you do it fast. <laughs> so that's the five basic burlesque moves. We had the bumps. The grinds, the camel move or the water wave, the shoulder shimmy and the hip shimmy. If you liked my video and if I could help you a little bit with this, please feel free to subscribe. I would be very, very happy about it because for me it makes so much fun to do all these videos for you. And yes, here you can watch my other burlesque dancing videos. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Bye.